Simon from simonwood.com. Wine today is a uh, Vigna Ventiscaro uh, Grey, and it's a uh, grey, and then they put Glacia in square brackets. Uh, and uh, so it's a 2011, 100% uh, Syrah from uh, from the uh, Palta region in, uh, in, in Colchagua Valley, where some of Chile's top reds come from. Let's give this one a whirl. Uh, they do a wine called, uh, I can't remember its name now, um, I, they, they do a Pinot Noir called Eru, and they do a top uh, Syrah uh, with John Duval, I just for the life of me can't remember its name, I'll, here it is on screen, ah that's what it's called, I remember. Um, with the, but John Duval used to be the, the winemaker uh, for Penfold's Grange, and I stick my nose in here, and there is more of an Australian polished warmth uh, than I find in many uh, Chilean Syrahs. Sometimes they, 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 they can have this, uh, this lovely bright fruit, uh, but sometimes it can be on, a little bit on that, uh, uh, on that stark side, uh, as, as if somebody has uh, just been a little bit too attentive to the wine and not just been content to just let it be. Um, but um, this smells, uh, it's, it smells like it's gonna be, it have some richness about it, but also some freshness. And let's have another sniff. Yeah, you're getting this vanilla, a little bit of volatility there, but it's um, it's in balance with the rest of the wine. Uh, but what it's doing is it's lifting the flavours and making them um, uh, making them f poke out towards you and be, be sort of friendly and a bit come hither. So I'm going to come hither. Very young, um, and it's it's strange because it's got quite rich, rounded flavours, but really, really quite tight structure that's uh, raining them all in at the moment. A sort of wine that really needs a, a, at least a, another hour or two to come out of its shell. But I'm getting these characteristics like the plums, cherries, slightly savoury tom uh, baked tomato uh, edge in there too. More, well, maybe dried tomato rather than, rather than baked tomato. There's a silkiness of the tannin. I'm not sure whether they've used French or American oak, but there is a a, a polished vanilla sheen that uh, for me almost says like good quality American oak but I'm fully prepared to be shot down and uh, uh, and uh, and shown to be wrong but um, I like that but I've got a feeling that I'm going to like it even more in about three hours it really does feel that you're seeing a it in embryonic form at the moment and uh, there's more of that wine to to come it looks good now better in a few hours time or a few years time if you can wait that long see you soon